What's going on there guys? Good evening. It is the Earth Master here on this uh, Monday evening, March 14, 2022, about 7.34 p.m. California time. Latest quake, a 3.3 earthquake out around the area where we've seen that uh, 6.4 strike yesterday in the area of the Philippines. We have seen quite a bit of aftershock sequences following those two large quakes yesterday. Also an uptick in movement in between those two uh, and specifically to the south here along the southern end of the Java Trench and areas to the Indonesia region to the east. So quite a bit of uptick in earthquake activity in that region over the last 24 hours. Looking at the west coast out here where we're still seeing some activity around the southern end of the San Andreas Fault. Nothing within the last hour, but I uh, have been watching a couple quakes pop up here and there scattered out and about around the San Andreas Fault Zone. Um, so looking at uh, still a little bit of swarming going on in that area of the state uh, up to the north around the creeping section of Sandra's Fault. Still seeing some activity as well. Uh, nothing within the last hour though. And uh, some movement up here into Northern California. I know this is not showing up up here, but man, about an hour or so ago, we seen some uh, activity ramp up here with a uh, little spike of an earthquake. Let me see if I can get this image to pop up uh, real quick. Stand by for a second here. I wanna show you guys the uh, Oh, it's kind of upside down. That's kind of weird. It wasn't that way a minute ago. So uh, let's see if I can transform that real quick here. Uh, let's see here. It's not going to let me. But either way, there is a little spike there on that map. And uh, it's kind of... I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, it's going to be the uh, spike there on Petrolia. It's kind of hard to see. This is not how I wanted it to kick up. You guys might have to turn your head, okay? This was about an hour or so ago when that earthquake spike came through on the seismograph stations there, that, that uh, well-defined spike, right? And I see that uh, at least uh, a couple times a day, and uh, it's obvious earthquake activity, and we haven't seen anything uh, being shown up here on the Northern California map. So earthquake activity still continuing, but not being reported. The last one here was earlier uh, today, way earlier near the uh, Cobb Mountain area. Actually, that one is within the last hour, but up here in Northern California, uh, you can see there on the map way earlier today at 2.8. But uh, man, that, the earthquake that just popped up there about an hour or so ago, not even on the map. Just goes to show you there's activity continuing and continued uh, lack of reporting there from the agencies in charge of that. Mount St. Helens, we've got one earthquake up here on the map, a 0.3. Let's go ahead and check out the latest volcanic seismicity map here from the Mount St. Helens area, just to verify, right? Kind of have to verify everything these days. They got one earthquake there on the PNSN network. We'll go to the live recorded seismograph station there, right in the crater of Mount St. Helens. And we'll see what they got here uh, within the last couple hours, kind of a, a, uh, a clutter of data we'll go back here and kind of look at this image here and uh there's definitely some activity kicking up here nothing major these are very small earthquakes uh let's see these little lines here but uh, it's earthquake activity nonetheless nothing major going on there uh, so no major uh activity currently ongoing there at mount st helens which i'd like to verify the trimmer activity tonight in the northern california right there um, this is what about day nine here of uh, continued trimmer activity nine epicenters uh, nothing big it's not a big number but it's still ongoing movement uh, and this one here is kind of a little upstream if you will most of the time we see the uh, the earthquake activity kind of inland here um, which is further down into the subduction zone but this one's back up here a little bit higher I guess kind of towards the locked area uh, on the very southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. So uh, not for sure exactly what that's pointing to, but uh, there's definitely earthquake activity out there. We've seen it on the seismographs uh, into the Intermountain West regions. Uh, a little bit of activity scattered out and about. Looks like we're starting to pick up a little bit of swarming movement up through the Cedar, Utah area and into parts of Wyoming up here in Yellowstone. Got a uh, point two. A little bitty small quake. Let me see what we got on the overview here. Uh, there's not a, definitely not a whole lot showing up here locally. And uh, that little earthquake there may be from... Uh, it's hard to say exactly where that earthquake's at. Even the point two. 
Uh, looks like it's over there around West Yellowstone, so up here somewhere. Uh, possibly could be perhaps that one, maybe that one. A couple small spikes on there, but nothing major going on there at Yellowstone National Park uh, today anyway. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Ridgecrest region and up through the eastern crest of the Sierra Nevada. Still uh, getting pretty active. Uh, nothing major. No major swarm going on there on in Nevada. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, a little bit of movement into Oklahoma and also the New Madrid zone. Seen these earthquakes earlier in the update. Haven't seen any further subsequent movement. We're seeing a little bit of activity off the coast of Mexico here into the Middle America Trench. Been watching uh, the EMSC model, which we'll go ahead and pull up right now. And a pretty good swarm of activity kicking up here. I got uh, quite a few notifications there from my earthquake app coming in. Ringing the phone like crazy uh, because of the all all the activity that's kicking up here. See all these fours? Bunch of fours and, and uh, 4.8. A couple other smaller ones as well. And uh, looking at these timestamps here from uh, uh, throughout the day today. It's about what it looks like there. But, uh, hmm, look at this. One. They're just throwing down one. There's at least ten earthquakes here on this map. Look at all that activity up here into the uh, Middle America Trench region. So a little, pretty good swarm of activity kicking up here along the western coast here. And there's a lot of threes thrown in there as well. And uh, like, hmm, big question mark here on the USGS agency map. Uh, the Peru Chile Trench, about the same. Seen the quite a bit of threes and twos. And uh, 3.5, the latest quake there into the South America region. As you can see, there's quite a few fours in there as well, up and down the board, threes. I'll go down here to check out South America. USGS showing a couple fours here into the region, but there's definitely a wide swath of earthquake swarming taking place here uh, in these two areas reported by the EMSC. Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. Alaska up here, uh, some movement around the Cook Inlet area, getting a little clutter of earthquake activity here into the Cook Inlet region and some uh, scattered activity elsewhere. Not a whole lot through the Aleutian Trench. Little small pair of fours, upper 4.9 here at 35 kilometers at the northern end here of the Kuril Kamchaka Trench. Still watching that baby pretty closely. That one's, uh, that's, that's got my eyeball on it. It's been on that for quite a while. Uh, Philippines over here. What do we got over here around the Philippines? Quite a bit of swarming activity around where that uh, earthquake struck. Well, uh, yesterday that 6.4. Originally it came in as a 6.7, but uh, definitely quite a bit of aftershock activity in the 4 range. Uh, some lower 5s in there as well. Uh, down in the southern part here of Indonesia, of course, uh, some activity and some aftershock sequences here as well from the 6.7 that struck here in this area yesterday as well. Uh, not a whole lot going on through the China-India reg uh, India region or any other areas throughout the uh, Mediterranean or the Middle East. All pretty quiet, this earthquake here from this morning in the Mid-Indian Ridge. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the latest info here from the GeoNet servers, New Zealand area, and uh, see what these guys are reporting. Uh, latest quake shows a 3.0 from yesterday. Let me go ahead and bring in the uh, all magnitudes here. Looks like... Uh, 3.6 up north of North Island area. That went pretty deep, 218 kilometers. Uh, a couple other smaller quakes throughout the day. No major swarming to take note or any major activity currently there in New Zealand. Earthquakes Canada map as we uh, head towards the north here of the states. Are these guys going to pop up? Hello. There we go. Uh, that earthquake here, 3.8, looks like that one occurring earlier today. This one's north of where this other uh, 4.3 struck here a few days ago. So a little bit of activity ramping up here around the BC and the Northwest Territories up here. Uh, this earthquake here is situated right outside of uh, Nahani Butte. Is that right? Hopefully. Uh, 3.8 on the magnitude. Pretty shallow though at uh, one kilometer. Rest of Canada, a little bit of earthquake up here. Actually, this looks like uh, just outside of the Skagway, Alaska area. Eastern part of the country looks pretty quiet over here around Quebec. 
Let's see what else we got. Solar weather, that was kind of a big deal yesterday. Since then, things are kind of dying off. Uh, looks like things are really mellow, stepping down into the very low KP indexes here. So we're pretty much done with any potential from that swarming until the next one hits. Sea flare activity, 75% chance. Uh, not a whole lot uh, for flaring activity. If you look at these uh, sunspots on the sun, just um, some dying sunspots here and uh, just looking kind of bleak, looking kind of dull there in the solar weather department. So it is what it is. We'll move on and uh, enjoy the rest of the evening. I hope everyone else does as well. Like I said, I don't know why that flipped up, flipped right side up like that. We're upside down or sideways. All right, guys, have a good day. We will chat at you uh, a little bit later on. And uh, like I say, I still think the West Coast should be on guard there with the uh, swarming activity down south. Got to watch that uh, pretty closely. In the meantime, have a good night, everyone. Stay safe. Peace out.